greatest movie trilogies of all time the best film trilogies tell a single, epic tale that is broken up into three parts. Let's examine the film trilogies that have always worked the best. The cinema of today is becoming more and more dominated by reboots, franchises, cinematic worlds, and never ending sequels. The enormous success of the Marvel Cinematic Universe can be partly blamed for the trend. According to the Washington Post, the appeal for the large studios looking to replicate this success was pretty simple dependable income from well known media products that gain instant favor with the audience. A huge studio perspective can easily cause a viewer to overlook the appeal of a seamless, richly developed trilogy. It was what originally made sequels successful. The best film trilogies tell a single, overarching plot that is more or less broken up into three distinct films. These are fantastic achievements. They are amazing works of cinematic narrative, analogous to a lovely symphony where each instrument serves a very precise purpose in portraying the larger story. Let's take a look at some of the best movie trilogies ever made, trilogies that perfectly capture the appeal of movie sequels. The Matrix Trilogy The 1999 release of the first Matrix movie was a turning point in cinema, improving the sci-fi and action genres. The Matrix franchise depicted a society run by sentient computer programs where people are kept in check in a hyper-realistic simulation. The Matrix constructed a sci-fi cosmos by appropriating potent philosophical ideas from various sources, and it has had a significant influence on public consciousness ever since. The Wachowskis, the film's creators, used the gunfu action genre as inspiration for their amazing combat scenes, introducing never-before-seen effects like the bullet time. The Bourne trilogy following the 2002 release of The Bourne Identity, Matt Damon quickly established himself as a legendary action star. The picture, which was based on a series of novels by Robert Ludlum, was unlike any previous spy action movie ever produced in Hollywood. Jason Bourne, a brutal assassin driven by impulses as basic as self-preservation, stood in stark contrast to the stylish and suave James Bond. The Bourne Identity, The Bourne Supremacy, and The Bourne Ultimatum were the original Bourne trilogy, which was the best of all. The three films, which were released over a five-year period, patiently and expertly reveal Jason Bourne's past, including the beginnings of the Treadstone Behavior Modification Program, his true identity, and the intricate motivations of numerous characters. The Dark Knight Trilogy The Dark Knight Trilogy, which includes Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises, was published just as the MCU was beginning to take shape and is likely to have had a significant influence. The Dark Knight Trilogy, directed by contemporary auteur Christopher Nolan, provided the superhero genre with its most grounded portrayal to date. According to Screen Rant, the three films of the trilogy each focused on a distinct facet of the human experience, fear, chaos, and agony. These ideas, as well as others that support the entire trilogy, contributed to an incredible cinematic experience in all three movies. Of course, Heath Ledger's Joker, the most recognizable villain of all time, was also first introduced to us in the Dark Knight movies. The Godfather Trilogy In that there are hardly any critics of the Godfather Trilogy, it is a true classic. The Godfather Trilogy is still regarded as one of the greatest pieces of cinema, despite the fact that the third film is typically rated lower than the first two. They provided a distinctive view into Italian-American culture and were unlike any other gangster film that had been made. Stars like Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, and Robert De Niro gave some of the most renowned acting performances of all time in the Francis Ford Coppola-directed The Godfather Trilogy.